Imagine thousands of students willing to enroll to an educational institution with limited resources. Scheduling becomes a nightmare, especially if done manually. Master schedulers will surely spend so much time in class scheduling, encounters overlapping of faculty and room schedules, and inefficiency of class, class scheduling resources. My study intends to address all of these. I am Hasem Maridima Pilis, together with my co-authors, Mr. Louis Augustine, Ms. Annalyn Mendoza, and Mr. John Thomas Basil, presenting our research entitled, Faculty Course Loading and Room Assignment System, Implementing Depth First Search Algorithm from Trimix Colleges, representing Philippines. People today tend to use technology as a tool to perform specific jobs or tasks. Computers help people to complete works to be faster and more efficient. Yes, to be more efficient, technology is evolving as the need for people is growing. It's growing and becoming vital tools in our daily activities. It will be a great help to master schedulers to create a computerized scheduling system to do schedules. Scheduling is assigning, assigning resources to objects, placing them in space-time. Such a way of minimizing of a set of resources use, uses total cost, the time of rooms, faculty, subjects, and students is, are assigned to the class schedule. Usually, it is headed by the master scheduler who is typically a registered staff or somebody who knows faculty information. Our study's primary, primary purpose is to solve problems such as the vast amount of time spent during class scheduling, the overlap between faculty and room schedules, and the inefficient, way, inefficient use of class scheduling resources. The system has an engine that uses the, 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 that uses the algorithm to make calendars and differentiate between clashes. For the most part, the algorithm performs these successions of procedures, selecting the time available, finding accessible rooms, and searching for suitable staff while considering, while considering various client setting imperatives and inclination. The system used the IPO or the input process output process as a conceptual framework for the input. We have the knowledge requirements for knowing the modules needed for the system, software and hardware requirements for the coding environment. The process, the process has the methodology to be used in the system. The, the system used the SDLC that will be tackled later. Then, for the output, the system itself, faculty course loading and room assignment system, implementing depth first search algorithm. The figure shows the users who are going to manage the system. The rooms, courses, timetables, and reports are managed by the administrator. The faculty will manage its own inputs of data. The DFS module or the Depth First Search module will handle the loads, rooms, and courses of the faculty scheduling. For the methodology, the SDLC or the System Development Lifecycle consists of six phases. First, data gathering for acquiring resources to be used for class scheduling. Second, design for planning the system architecture, system flow, system design, and the work plan for developing the system. Then, coding, the interpretation of design phase using codes and the creation of the system itself. After that, testing phase for validating the system if the requirements are met and working according to the design. Three phase is the implementation of the system in the target environment. And lastly, for the maintenance, for collecting possible new requirements of the system. The depth research algorithm 
the, the the first search algorithm is a graph traversing algorithm uses for searching data it uses backtracking and explores under, until the of the data for DFS application in specific domains like attempting to find an AI solutions or some internet creeps the graph to be traversed is usually locked at either large to, to be visited in its entireness or infinite the DFS may suffer from non-termination searching is performed solely to a restricted depth in such cases thanks to limited resources like memory or space what one usually doesn't use knowledge structures to trace the set of all antecedently that diversity vertices was looking to a restricted depth the time remains linear in terms of the quantity of enlarged vertices and edges although this number isn't the identical because that size of full graph as some vertices could also be searched over once or might not be searched at all however the spatial quality of this dfs variant is merely proportional to the depth limit and thus a lot smaller than the area needed to go looking the same depth exploitation the breadth first search the figure shows in the information of faculty the faculty member for inverting information this module this module data should I sorry it managed availability and the faculty and the teachable course of the faculties next a course module manage the programs manage the program and courses that will that will be the location of this kind the classes this module can manage its availability and capacity the room module I'm sorry the schedule module for creating the timetable or displaying the timetable created by the depth first search algorithm now we have here the evaluation of the system with the criteria of functionality, reliability, usability, and efficiency. Uh, efficiency and maintainability. In general, the software yielded, yielded a total weighted average of 4.8 students respondents, which fall within the Likert scale of highly acceptable. It has also been shown that there are no significant difference between the responses of two categories of respondents compared to means. The following conclusions were drawn on the basis of the study objectives and evaluation results. Quality course loading and room assignment system depth per search algorithm search efficiently schedule resources. The scheduling system performs faster than the traditional scheduling method. The system stores the faculty information course, rooms, and schedules that are made and can be easily retrieved. The system is user-friendly and with only minor supervision, it can be easily operated. The system displays the information as the user wants to display it correctly. The recommendations of service are as follows. To fit the algorithm implemented for use in large universities, Include information about registration for more precise scheduling as the resources in increase for more consideration. To make the web and mobile platform accessible to the system. Yes, and as Peter Thurla said, a plan is what? A schedule is web. It takes both a plan and schedule to get things done. So thank you and have a nice day everyone. Mabuhay.